What's up everybody, Captain Ron, back with another video. Finally got through school, finally got through vacation, now it's time to get back to doing some videos for you guys. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick tool haul over the last couple of months since I got out of college. Some of the stuff I've picked up that's going to help me in my day-to-day -day job, stuff that I would recommend that you guys pick up if you guys work in a shop too. So, let's go over this stuff, stay tuned. So what I got for you guys today, like I said, just some stuff I've picked up over the last couple months um, to help myself out here in the shop since I'm working flat right now because I'm going to need the tools to make better time to make better money. Uh, first thing I picked up was just a standard brake compression tool. Um, got this off the Matco truck. I think it was like 40 bucks or something like that. Um, but it's for compressing your uh, caliper calipers back after doing a brake job. Instead of having to get a set of vice grips out and do that, you just stick this in there. This is the single pump one. They do make this in a double pump as well. Uh, but you just basically put it in there and you just start squeezing, and that will start pushing your rotor or your uh, caliper back together so that you can put it back on there. Really nice, quick tool on doing brake jobs. So definitely suggest one of those. Uh, second thing I picked up on the truck, uh, not necessarily on the truck, but uh, one of them was on the truck was these two impacts right here. One of them is the half inch Milwaukee Fuel brushless uh, half inch one of them I picked up was the Milwaukee Fuel half inch impact cordless. Um, it's not the one key system so but it does have selections for different modes that you want to work with. Uh, this was actually a graduation present from Mr. Rust Belt Mechanic himself. So got one of those to do lug nuts and other heavy duty stuff that I need to do. Um, liked it a lot, so I ended up also picking up the 3 8 version as well. 3 8 is the same exact thing. It's got the different selections down here for different, um, different speeds on how fast it is when you pull the trigger. Uh, both of them use the M18 battery, so I can switch this back and forth. And these things have a lot of life to them. Um, I've ran this all day long in my 3 8 and my half, and I'm still at full battery on this. So really long lasting batteries, have lights in them so you can see what's going on. Definitely, definitely suggest picking one of these up. Um, actually picked this one up off of the Snap-on truck. He actually had one on the truck and uh, wasn't too terribly priced, but you can get them for about 260 bucks, I think it was. Um, I picked this one up a little bit cheaper, but uh, definitely something to pick up. Along with that, finally got my quarter inch snap-on ratchet, 14-4 ratchet. Same old 14-4 battery that goes in everything else. Um, nice long life on these, real good torque getting into those tight spaces. Um, one added thing that I would always suggest for these 14-4s is get this magnetic boot. These things are really nice because all you got to do, it just snaps onto any metallic surface and your tool that you're using will actually stay right there. Then go anywhere, keep it, you know, put it up underneath the vehicle out of the way, that way you're working on it. Um, it's right there in reach. Definitely pick those up. Those are like 25 bucks a piece, but got me one of these finally to work with. Um, another thing I picked up was the vacuum coolant filling system. This thing is a lifesaver compared to the old, um, you know, you put the, the reservoir up on top filled up, let it go in, start the vehicle, and you gotta let it warm up and basically self burp itself. This thing here will pull vacuum on your vehicle, suck out all the air that's in the system, um, will also help you find if you have a leak, which I actually had today on, on a 3.6 that I'm working on right now. Um, if you pull vacuum and it doesn't hold vacuum, you've got a leak somewhere, you gotta go check it out. So this thing will help not only help you fill, but it'll also help you va uh, check for leaks in your coolant system as well. So this is a nice little tool pickup. Um, the only downside to it that I had to make one modification was the there's a little screened uh, area right here on the end of the tube that goes down into your bucket of coolant. It's not heavy enough to weight itself down. So I actually found an old axle nut that we had laying around, slipped that on there as a weight to hold it down into the bucket. 
uh, but that makes it work just as well. Uh, doesn't get in the way of the screen or anything like that. So definitely a nice a nice thing to pick up if you guys have the chance to do so. Um, as in this case, you guys have probably seen these before. It's your tech angle uh, torque wrench, digital gauge. Flip it on right there. You got a digital gauge not only for doing torque specs, but also doing your angle torques as well. Uh, the one I picked up was the 3 8 version. I didn't need a half inch, uh, not, not quite yet at least. Um, but this one here has actually done really well. Like I said, had to put a 3 6, uh, three six back together. So having a torque wrench, having that digital torque wrench when I had to go back and put the head back on uh, made this really, really simple to do. So definitely worth picking up. I know those are a little bit on the, on the pricey side, but they are definitely worth the money to get one. Um, last but not least, I picked myself up a set of ratcheting wrenches from your wrench. Um, these were actually on the snap-on truck as well. Really nice, really, uh, really nice ratcheting wrenches. No real offset to them. They're pretty straight. Um, but this set here ran from 24 all the way down to an 8. It only skips one, and that is a 23 millimeter. But it's the entire set, all in this nice little case. You can pick it up, take it, go wherever you need to go. I will probably end up abandoning this case system once I get some uh, organizational stuff in my toolbox. But I couldn't pass this up. I looked this up on Amazon. This set runs like 300 and some dollars. I ended up picking it up for like 160 just because it was one of the last ones he had on his truck. And it was a really nice deal. So pick that up. Uh, one other thing I have is actually hanging over here on the car because I've been using it. Let me grab it real quick. And it's actually a big 14-4 shop light. Uh, these things here are really handy for working underneath the hood of vehicles. Um, nice bright light. You can actually snap it off here if you need to and go underneath for a second if you need to do so. Um, it's got a spring-loaded um, spring system to where you can hook it onto the hood. 14-4 battery goes in the end, turns on, lasts you about, I don't know, four hours or so. It depends on how much you're using it. Um, but, uh, you know, if you've got extra 14-4 batteries hanging around, pop it out, pop a new one in, you're back in business. So, definitely a good pickup up here. Um, last but not least, I don't have it yet, but I will be getting one when it comes in. Uh, they unfortunately were on back order, but I've also got one of the snap-on neck lights that you put around your neck, and it's got the two lights that actually adjust uh, up and down. You've seen those over on Rust Belt's channel, and if you haven't, go check out his channel. Um, he's got a lot of good tool reviews as well. But I've got one of those coming, but they were on back order, so I think mid-July is when I'm actually expected to get one of those. And uh, those are really nice to have too, so I'm going to have it to show off to you guys in later videos. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today. Just a quick one just to show you guys some of the tools that I've picked up over the last couple months to help me in my everyday work. Make sure you guys go check me out over on Instagram. That's the Captain Ron. that's T-H-E-C-P-T-N Ron over on Instagram. Description and link down in the comments or down in the description below. Um, be on the lookout for other videos coming up. We are gonna do a introduction video to the Duramax, which before anybody gets any crazy names or anything like that, since Junk From Work likes to call me Dirty Old Ron, the truck is now going to be called the Dirty Old Max. Let it be known, let it be said. But we're going to have an introduction video over that, show you guys what's going to be coming up with that, plus some future videos that are going to be in, uh, in the works for the Duramax itself. So until then, make sure you guys go hit the like button hit the subscribe button, and leave me a comment below if there's any other tools that you guys think might be worth me checking out to have in my toolbox for my day-to-day -day stuff. So, until next time, Captain Ron, signing off, and we'll see you next time.